Global Docs, we will take the warning labels off your aspirin. I'm thirsty. What is better on a hot day than a nice, cool, crisp pickle? They're both sour and refreshing. Why not drink a pickle with Rocket Fizz's Lester's Fixin' line of pickle-flavored soda? With that unmistakable cool cuke flavor, simulated tastes of garlic and dill, and amplified by the perfect amount of carbonation, Lester's Fixin's brings to you wild sodas that taste like popular foods. I really hope this works. You think it's gonna work? I've never actually been in a position where I had to call that little white fluffer nutter to be here on the show, but I kinda have a big change planned for this episode, and I kinda want him to be here to witness it. Lester's Fixin's Pickle Flavored Soda! I know in the Goya Soda Review I requested all sorts of different flavors of soda and new kinds of addictions to have, but this was not what I had in mind! I was requesting, I don't know, flavors to be enjoyed by human beings! Human. Like me. <laughs> and normally, I don't believe in one company monopolizing the entire show. Like, it's happened before, I guess, with Lay's and Silk and the Buffalo Bob Company. So here we go with two in a row for Lester's Fixins. Lester's Fixins. Have you ever heard of this company? I've never heard of this company. I figured there was something behind this guy, so I went on the internet and looked him up. And believe it or not, pickle soda and bacon soda? This is child's play compared to some of the sodas that I've seen on that site. Some of the most vomitous, some of the most stomach acid inducing things I've ever seen that are indeed edible are on that site. And I'm sure that they're gonna be on this show too. <laughs> I can't believe it, you actually showed up. Welcome to Yucker Yum, I am Error. Thank you for stopping by. Well, first off, can we can the creepy music and replace it with something a little bit more, I don't know, upbeat, jaunty? Come on, work with me, people, come on. Ah, yes, classic. Where do I begin, and how do I put this nicely? You? You've been coming here week after week with messages of impending doom. For what amounted to months? You alluded to a future, foreshadowed to a big event, and then there was absolutely no payoff! Quite frankly, I don't particularly care for the way you toy with my viewers' emotions. Well, here on Yucker Yum, we don't operate like the WWE or One Life to Live. I don't believe in wasting our viewers' valuable time. So I aim to salvage your storyline right here and now and fix your character so you're not so pointless. Well, a while back you didn't hear me say it because you left in such a hurry, but I said these words. I guess maybe we can just call him I am Error, like the letter I, the letter M, and Error. That's his name now. In fact, that guy is such a joke to me, I'm about ready to turn him into a meme. <laughs> well, I'd like to announce the brand new Yucker Yum t-shirt! Available on the Yucker Yum shop site for the low, low price of $9.99. Drum roll! Gentlemen, I bring to you the brand new I Am Error T-Shirt! What do you think? Come on, is that all you got to say? You now are officially a part of Yucker Yum history! <laughs> Ha! 
It's my way of covering for you after you wasted all of our time. You're welcome! You had no point. You didn't do nothing. But look at you now! I mean, if I were you, I wouldn't be convention. I mean, you've got your own emblem, you've got your own t-shirt. Soon you're probably gonna have your own merch. Oh. Thanks a lot. Got an enormous black and blue now. So what more can I say? I've already talked a blue streak about the pickle people, second only to the bacon people. I was having the same dilemma when I was in the middle of that fish barrage, you might remember. For 10, 11 episodes in a row, I did non-stop like different kinds of fish products. But at least those offered some kind of variety. I mean, at least the, the schools of fish in the ocean, they're all sorts of different kinds and colors. Some have weird tentacles, others have fins, and just like, there's so much more variety there. With bacon and with, with, with pickles. There's only so much you can talk about. You're so much more limited. How many different ways can a man talk about garlic gherkin goodness? Well, I guess this will just have to be a shorter episode. Nothing good with a good short episode every once in a while. Lester, if I see you out on the street, I'm fixing to crack this bottle over your head. Stupid, stupid that I still have to do this. <laughs> huh, wasn't so bad. All right, let me put this up to the nostrils and see if my nose hairs burn away. <laughs> Dear God, this smells legit! The pickle candy canes, they smelled like they had some kind of artificial, like, candiness to them. Like there was some kind of, like, sugary element where the salty element wasn't. This, rest assured, this smells like straight pickle brine! I wonder what the heck is in here! Uh, what? You are gonna love this, because I personally laugh at this. The ingredients are, and I quote, and see if you could try to pick out any ingredients here that might give off this weird odor. Or anything that's, like, out of the ordinary. The ingredients, carbonated artesian spring water, cane sugar, citric acid, natural flavors, turmeric for color. Flash pasteurized for stability and safety. Did any of those ingredients sound like anything out of the ordinary? No, neither to me. But there's one more ingredient on here I neglected to read, and why? Because you can't read it. They put black text on a black background. See, I don't know what it is. I know it starts with a G and it ends in an A, but what the heck is this mystery ingredient here? Whatever this mystery substance is, it is the key ingredient. And for all I know, it could be a Latin word for duck semen. There's something scary about that, isn't there? I mean, maybe there's something in here that they want to hide. Maybe it's some kind of weird viral bacteria, or maybe it's like a carcinogen? Who thought to put black print on a black background? There are so many instances where Steen Aston has like an ad read to do and the, the, the PNG image that I have to work with is black and I try to put that on top of a black background. You can't read it, so what do I have to do? I have to go out of my way to put in a white background so you can see the damn thing. Even I, a freaking loser in this freaking limbo house in the middle of limbo nowhere, knows to do that. And yet people, professional people, put together this label I don't know what the doing. Well, I guess there's no time like the present. Either it's time to have my socks blown off or to create my own pickle-flavored product. Pickle-flavored barf! This... is surprisingly not bad. A part of me wishes that this were cooler, because I was sitting here screaming about it for so long, and because there was so much behind-the-scenes tomfoolery that was keeping me from filming. Don't even get me started on that! Frickin' Pinkie Pie. But you know what? I pride myself at being able to put my mind in a zen state where I can imagine something a completely different way, and if this were ice cold, this would be absolutely delicious. But as it is, it's okay. I would imagine that if you actually had a craving for, for Lester's Fixin's pickle soda, you'd want to make sure that you put it in your freezer. Screw the refrigerator, put it in your freezer, and wait for the exact tipping point where it's about to crystallize. You pop this sucker in your gullet, and you're gonna enjoy every second of it. I'm finding as I'm eating and drinking more pickle and bacon flavored things that these flavors, 
they're best suited to certain areas, like certain quadrants of the food pyramid, it should just stay in. Pickle flavor, it shouldn't be relegated to like hard candies and like chocolate and stuff like that. With pickle, you gotta go with something cold, like a soda or like a slushy or something of that nature. With bacon, I mean, yeah, maybe bacon tastes good in chocolate. Bacon tastes good in like hard candy. Well, that's debatable, but it's, it's more fitting over there than it is with something like a cold beverage such as this. So if I were to give this a Hoff rating, Enjoy the world of the Pink Tope. It was created by the finest restaurateurs from all corners of the world, and I personally love the ease in which fine meals are preparable. In a refrigerated tote, the approximate measurements of the finest ingredients are stored, with a helpful packet teaching you various, easy-to-follow ways to prepare over 500 different types of healthy, delicious males comparable to those you'll find at the finest five-star restaurants. If you'd like a particular male, feel free to order it again, or try one from the suggestions tab when you return the totes. I am all thumbs in the kitchen, and even a dummy like myself can prepare these exquisite males in intentionally less than an hour. How can you argue with that? This week's menu includes potato salad with eggs, bacon, and dill pickles. Oh, here we go. With creamy mayo and sour cream dressing, Polish dill pickle soup speckled with shreds of smoked ham with Worcestershire sauce, chicken broth, garlic, and dill. Dill pickle wrapped grilled cheese with Aria Fontina cheese slices, dill pickle sandwich slices, and ham. Wait a minute. If there's ham in it, it's not a grilled cheese sandwich. It's a ham sandwich. Everybody does that. Why does everybody do that? Pure Italian crunchy kielbasa loaf with eggplant stuffing. Really? That's it? So simple? And no pickles? Really? <laughs> My sleuthing skills are telling me there's more to this. Pure, Italian, crunchy, kielbasa, loaf, eggplant, stuffing. I solved that little pickle. So what are you waiting for? Shop online at www.therealpinktope.com and start making healthier choices today. So if I were to give this a half rating, You know what? I'm gonna rate this pretty high. I'm gonna rate this three and a half hops. As refreshing as this is, could you imagine how refreshing cucumber soda would be? Like without all the garlic and without all those pickle elements in there. Just, just chilling that to the point where it's almost frozen and drinking that? I could imagine that would refresh you better than a Gatorade! And I bet you would exist. I just have to do some like minimal monkey work. Try to like maybe shout out to the people at the Divinity Creator. Maybe Eric the Red could get it for me. Somebody! needs to get me this cucumber flavored soda because I want to try that for the show and I bet you that's close to five stars. But this right here, this is no slouch. I know it's a novelty flavor and I know you're gonna go on the Lester's Fixin' website and you're gonna see all these weird novelty flavors that can't possibly be any good. The bacon flavor was no good. But um, I definitely say go out and try yourself some Lester's Fixin's pickle flavored soda. You won't be disappointed. You might think you're gonna be disappointed, but you're gonna put this to your lips and you're gonna be in love with it after your first drop. You know, I completely rue having to edit this episode. If you knew the miles and hours of footage that I'm gonna have to slog through to try to turn this into something. <sighs> Goongala, Goongala. Maybe I'll put in like some kind of weird blooper reel at the end so you can see the terror that I've gone through trying to put this episode out. It's your good buddy Hottie Scotty Pancake 603 saying once again, until next time, where I answer the question, is it yuck? Is it yum? Or is it yuck or yum? Let's hope they're not all like this from now on. I am error! How fitting is it for an acclaimed sports entertainer such as I, Bad News Bashamach, to be talking about a company like Acclaim? They are the greatest third-party developer of your favorite video games for the most popular video game system today. Such as the Nintendo Entertainment System, with such titles as Bart vs. the Space Mutants, Airwolf, Trog, and let's not forget all the WWF games. The list speaks for itself, doesn't it? And now, if you would indulge me for a second, I would like to take this opportunity to use this platform to pay tribute to one of my favorite actors of all time. You know him from works like Everybody Hates Chris, and white chicks. This one song goes for Terry Crews. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass and I'm homebound. And I need you. And I need you. And now I want to. The time will get off the stage. Wanda, 
Who the hell is interrupting me right now? This is Stone Cold Steen asking you, little punk, and need I remind you in case you forgot, this ain't no America's Got Talent, it's my advertising time, or have you forgotten? Oh, I haven't forgotten you, Stone Cold Jabroni. Just like I haven't forgotten you running your mouth about beating me up for trash-talking Vinnie Mac. Or that garbage you and your little stooge said to me the last time I was here. But I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Now, 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 hold on there. <gasps> you expect me to stand still while you run your gums that you haven't forgotten this, haven't forgotten that? I think what you're trying to say is, finally, Stone Cold! How dare you interrupt my bad news proclamation? Bad, bad news! Got... Bad news! Bad news! Is that all you got? You don't hear me say, what? 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 You don't see me coming out saying this stupid shit. See, I got this one Oh, thing. why am I even arguing with you? You're not even a has-been, you're a never was. You think you're funny? Coming out after insulting me week in and week out doesn't make you feel good, does it? Yeah, I'm getting a little tired of the bickering and cheap shots between us, so since you like to sing, I'm gonna sing your song to ease the tension between us. Go something like this. <clears throat> Lord, I was born a rambling man, trying to make a living and doing the best I can. And when it's time for leaving, I hope you understand. That I was born a rambling man. Oh, hell no. You ain't gonna upstage me that easily. Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? Said we'd be coming back this way again, baby. Baby, 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 oh, baby. I love you. As long as you keep singing that sappy trash, I'm gonna keep upstaging you, son. How about you sing a man's song like this? You can tell my arms to go back to the farm. You can tell my feet to hit the floor. Or you can tell my lips to tell my fingertips. They won't be reaching out for you no more. But don't tell my heart, my achy breaky heart. I just don't think he'd understand. What? And if you tell my heart, my achy breaky heart, he might blow up and kill the man. Just call me Angel of the Morning, Angel. Just touch my cheek before you leave me, darling. Just call me angel of the morning, angel. Just touch my cheek before you leave me, darling. With the Colorado Rocky Mountain High, I've seen it raining fire in the sky. The shadow from the strait is softer than a lullaby. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm starting to like you, Bashamach. You're not such a bad guy yourself, Steen Aston. Well, how about we sing a little something together in the spirit of our new friendship? What? I said a duet. What? You want a duet? You got a duet. First, let me warm up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe this will bring back a few memories. I'll catch it about midway through. Anybody who's anybody knows who Jimmy Buffett is. You familiar with Margaritaville? I believe I do. Then I cue a one and a two. Wasting away, away again in Margaritaville. Searching for my lost shaker of salt. Some people say that there's a Bashamach to blame, but I know. It's all Steen Aston's fault. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, let go of me, you sneak! Ah! Oh, oh, why? Wow, I thought we were friends, man! Cause you know I'd walk oh, a thousand wow. miles if I could just beat you <laughs> tonight.